it is hot out here, I'll tell you that. Uh, continuing on the, the series of projects that I'm trying to pound out right now, I'm, what I'm doing is I've got a number of projects that I got started at some point in the last year and I have the parts for them, but it didn't make sense to do the project just yet. Because I wasn't ready to do the project yet, um, it didn't make narrative sense in the scale of refurbishing this Mustang, other non-Mustang projects. But right now, because I have limited funds and I have to be really careful with my money, I'm just going to take all the projects that I can finish and I'm just going to finish them in whatever order they, they happen. So uh, that's what I'm doing today. I got a bunch of stuff pounded out, um, not just car stuff, but household stuff. I got a bunch of it pounded out. So today my project is this air dam. I had bought this shortly after buying the Mustang like a year ago and I just never actually installed it because I hadn't got to that point yet. And this air dam may not look like it does a whole lot, it may not seem like much, but the thing to keep in mind is even if you don't like the bean counters or even if you have a bone to pick with the EPA or whatever your beef is with automakers, you don't get a job as an engineer for an automaker if you're a dummy. It just doesn't happen. You gotta be pretty on the ball if you're an engineer at a car manufacturer and they don't put anything on the car that doesn't have a return on investment. Like think about it, if they made a million of these cars and this cost a dollar each and they left it off, they could have saved a million dollars. It's a lot of money, no matter who you are. Uh, and certainly this cost more than a dollar, not to mention the labor of installing it and all that good stuff. So this thing lives right here and its job is to kind of smooth out air that goes underneath the car and also direct more air up because this is one of your major intakes for cooling air. You know, a lot of air just comes up this way and goes through the radiator and if you have another little kind of air dam here, then it creates more pressure in front of it and less pressure behind it, so more air gets pulled through the radiator. And that means more cooling. So what we're gonna do is we're going to repair this thing here because I noticed this thing is flappity, and we're going to go ahead and install that. Now this is black and dark looking. The reason for that is that I put some phosphate coating on it. There was just the paint had worn off over all the time that this thing's existed, and uh, it started having a little bit of surface rust. Uh, there's no cancer rust. Like you can see, those are nice clean holes there. This car doesn't have any cancer, but there was a bit of surface rust, so I just painted some iron phosphate on there, and that's gonna keep it from continuing to corrode. Uh, but this thing here is going to just go up in that location. Uh, one other thing that I noticed while I was down here, uh, and one of the reasons I kind of like working on cars myself, is I noticed that this power steering hose is leaking, and I also noticed that these two power steering hoses are kind of rubbing on each other. Like They're able to kind of, you know, grind <laughs> each other down, and so that's going to eventually wear through if I don't do anything about it. So what I have for that, so as pretty much a permanent solution to that, I've got this little guy here, which is made to keep spark plug wires separated from each other. Uh, but I think it's going to work pretty well here to keep those guys separated and then I'll have to replace these soft lines. But that's okay, I wanted to flush the power steering system anyway, so this is just a reminder that I need to get on that maintenance next. There, now isn't that pretty? Okay, now let's work on this thing here. Now we can see on this side that it's held in with one of these push pins and what's nice about that is I got push pins. So that's going to be this guy right here. That's a pretty good match for this one. It's not quite the same flange size, but it's going to work. And there we go, good as new. So that'll last uh, until I knock it off on a curb or something again, but at least it's something. Now I'll notice that right here, that guy is a little bit torn, and I'm not sure if those are available to be replaced. Uh, similarly, this one here is a little scratched, but this one's not torn, uh, not torn like that one. So I'll just have to keep an eye on it. If, uh, if I can find one at a junkyard or something, I'll go ahead and get a junkyard one, and uh, that should make it last a little bit longer.